More leaders are expected to get their first dose of the coronavirus vaccine in public today. Texas Governor Greg Abbott is among them. He's set to get his shot in Austin at 1.30 this afternoon. This comes as the Texas Medical Center prepares to provide an update on its vaccination efforts today. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez live in the Texas Medical Center with a look at what's ahead. Kathy, good morning. Good morning. This morning, leaders here of the Texas Medical Center are set to give an update on the vaccine rollout and also an update on the tough fight against COVID-19. This as local hospitals are strained trying to treat patients. Very alarming, just days before Christmas, Brazoria, Galveston, Liberty, and Chambers counties are above the 15% hospital capacity. According to the governor's executive order, it means hospitals there would have to stop all elective surgeries. This is the rush to vaccinate Americans continues. Yesterday, United Memorial Medical Center in North Houston received 300 doses. Dr. Joseph Verone, who has worked 278 days straight, was one of the first vaccinated. That's great. But, you know, this needs to be wide. Everybody needs to get. The state now says Texans 65 and older or 16 and older with health issues, including cancer, heart conditions, obesity, and type 2 diabetes are eligible to get vaccinated in the next phase. But officials say it'll likely be a few weeks before that begins. On Sunday, a CDC panel said essential workers should be up next, and that includes grocery store workers and teachers. This brings a relief to many. It's not only going to keep us safe, it's not only going to keep our families safe, but it's also going to keep our customers safe. And that update from the Texas Medical Center is set to take place at 11 o'clock this morning. We'll, of course, be listening for you and bring you that information on air and online at click2houston.com. Reporting live in the Texas Medical Center, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Kathy, thank you.